I've has never been a group that I have been particularly impressed by or vocal in my support of as opposed to their ever increasing popularity. While most was impressed by their debut, I found it to be one of the most generic and lackluster of their generation. Their initial concept trailer led you to believe that they would be taking a teen crush route, with scrapbook editing and bright poppy colored visuals tailored to each girl. The selling point was to be their name I've which actually represents I have what you want. Despite this tagline, I found myself underwhelmed with the direction they took for their debut. The photoshoot felt barren, generic and almost like it could pass for department store visuals. It felt like the company was unaware that they could do an elegant concept and still make it look interesting. Something more closer to Red Velvet's really bad boy regal shoot would have fit much more for their debut. Even the typography left me with much to be desired, their logo especially feeling too close to Vivis's and just looking awful to me in general. The V leading into E resembles too closely of a Y, visually the logo is failing to even convey the group name properly. Needless to say, by the time their comeback was announced I wasn't exactly checking for them. To my surprise, it seemed like the company heard some of the critique that came with their debut and implemented measures to make I feel more unique. With Love Dive, the six girls explore the idea of Cupid and its favorites, pinning a letter in detail about their feelings. They wonder about love, the many ways of showing affection and how it all relates back to them. This fresh concept that was also more age appropriate for the younger members immediately sparked my interest. I was further satisfied when the concept pictures began to roll out and revealed meaningful visuals with unique design elements that would ensure this era to be iconic for their generation. While I was still not sold on the music, as I fear the case will always be with Ive. I was at the very least impressed with the concept that the team had put together. So by the time summer came around and there were rumors of a third comeback, I was at the very least tuned in. I wanted to see what concept they would take a swing at this time, especially considering summer concepts immediately lean brighter for girl groups. I've announced that they will be returning for the summer with After Like, a single album which featured three sets of concepts in total which I'll be breaking down today, concept. Ives' comeback began with a series of photos accompanied with a film that was labeled F Summer. Taking inspiration from coming-of-age films, Ives' Summer brings the viewer into Ives' perspective of the summer through their youthful energy. The concept photos are directly inspired by photography of the late 1990s as well as Zen X, a design trend popular in the early 90s. While I cannot confirm what they were shot on, I'm certain that the decision to make the concept photos resemble those of film photography was intentional. In the late 90s, Kodak film was much more accessible to the average person with a cheaper price range and thus showed a boom in photography featuring it from the average person. Film is considered a much more personal form of photography, its grainy haze effect capturing emotions that may become lost with the enhancements that come with digital photography. Through this very personal form of photography, we see Ive as regular young adults rather than working idols. There are shots that feel very impromptu, such as Winnie Young tying up her hair or action shots of Liz and Ray with water. This is where the concept of Zenex comes in. Zenex was a design trend that came into existence in the early 90s, focused on more national and minimalist aesthetics to combat the over-commercialism that came with the late 80s. In the context of Ive, these concept photos that are more carefree allow you to connect with the girls in a way that their debut photoshoot might have not. You have been here before, this was your summer once. Other decisions made such as typography choice and makeup also led to the authentic feels of a Kodak moment. I Summer is written in a bold sans serif that resembles one similar to Kodak's official logo. The girls are seen in minimal makeup, much keen to the less is more attitude that came in the late 90s with their approach to beauty. It's also worth noting that FX were also pioneers of bringing this aesthetic back to mainstream K-pop with their album Four Walls which featured similar filmography for both its photo book and its music video. While FX were mature and sophisticated, I've goes youthful and emotional. Other examples of this recently is Stacey's stereotype and New Jeans's attention. Sadly, only one aspect of this concept was applied in the final product of the comeback which I'll discuss next. Personally, I enjoyed seeing I've through this non-commercialized lens. 
photo shoots like these definitely help you humanize people who otherwise seem unattainable. It overrides money and fame, normalizing authenticity in an industry that often lacks it. After Like's first set of concept picture shoots for retro futurism in all its broody glamour. Modernizing the late 1970s take on ultra-modern, this style of retro futurism has been slowly working its way back into mainstream K-pop with twice as eyes wide open, G-Friends while Purgis Night and even as recent as From Us 9's From My Memento Box featuring it. While those examples feature my favorite work from the uprising trend, I sadly falls flat for me. The concept requires a mature, classy outlook in which I've, a group of barely legals, fail to achieve to do to their age group. The concept feels too mature for young women who have visuals to match high schoolers. The photoshoot feels like a bunch of rich teenagers borrowing their mother's clothes and playing dress up, rather than sophisticated women in an editorial shoot. Please do note that this is not something I'm making up. If Gayul was around the age group of twice, the water that was seen in her hand would be traded for a glass of wine. The girls just feel too out of place. It lacks the authenticity that they were offering with their initial concept film. My final thoughts on this concept were further bolstered by the group pictures released to conclude it. The blank stares and awkward poses only heighten the feeling of teenagers pretending to be adults. It's hard to take them seriously and I simply won't. They're kids, for better or for worse. I've takes another complete turn and introduces us to happy, commercialized modern photography borrowing elements from the 1980s. Remember when I spoke about Zenex's origins being combating the over-commercialization of the 1980s, this is the over-commercialization in question. Whether or not this contrast is intentional is not clear, so I would simply leave this up to my interpretation rather than fully crediting their creative director. This set of concept photos feature print marks which are often found on digital photography, including scales of CYM, black and white. I simply know this because of my interest in informational design as of late, however as I am not an expert in photography I will not be delving further into any meaning. What I will say is that the inclusion of these print marks and the film frames are intentional and meant to further emphasize the concept of cinematography they're exploring. While the colors were always going to be implemented given the concept, the choice in shades are definitely references to retro as well, lime green, deal, barbie pink, lemon yellow and ruby red are some I recognize on first sight. These colors could be found in various vintage IKEA magazines featuring furniture of that time period and of course, in clothing as well. My gripes with this concept are mainly with execution. While I do get an editorial, high fashion feel from these shots. They once again do not have as much fun as they could with this concept. Something as simple as giving each girl a product to advertise rather than basic shots smiling and staring into a camera could have taken this concept to the next level. I also strongly dislike the font choice as well. Whose decision was it to have Drake's if you're reading this? It's too late typography featured on concept photos that are meant to display retro futurism. Drake and I've in the same sentence. Like truly that's how you know you've lost the plot. The typography wasn't much to write home about after that. I thoroughly love the after like logo, the modification with the swashes mixed with the otherwise plain serif allowed the logo to feel a lot more fun and playful in nature. I would say, it's one of their best album cover and packaging. The album cover is simply terrible, as with all of I've releases. It seems like the company does not understand how to transfer the concept over to the album cover nor the album designs in general. There's a lack of tolerance for those with eyesight issues with a bright neon green parrot with a black typography that most professionals have warned against as it creates eye strain. The color of green seems like a random choice given the concept at hand, while green screen certainly plays a role in cinematography especially in terms of K-pop, a rainbow would have much sufficed for the concept. I suspect that I've wants each of their comebacks to reflect a color, thus narrowing themselves into this one color for each album cover design pattern. However, black, white or pink could have worked much better in this case. Color palettes are extremely necessary in themes and concepts, listening to the album and watching the comeback unfold leaves you even more puzzled to the choice of a neon green as an album cover. It does not convey the tone of the album well. Even besides the color choice, the album cover and album packaging fails to have fun with the concept picked out. It would have been smarter to make the album packaging resemble a director's clapboard board to relate to the concept. 
you could still have the Afterlife logo stretched across on it as well. These missed opportunities will never fail to puzzle me. I don't understand why packaging design is not considered a must in an industry that's culture is so reliant on its physical sales. Even the inclusions are lackluster. Failing to comprehend how much the concept has to offer visually that could be tackled through intriguing designs as simple as the girls all have commercial products to sell or a guide to getting the perfect photo which is actually just a lyric sheet. All in all, I left this I've come back with the same sentiments I had the first time around. A concept is like a seed. Without water and proper sunlight, it'll never grow just sitting in the dirt untouched. Too many companies are relying on the concept selling itself rather than making sure the concept is executed thoroughly leaving no corner unturned. While I was able to understand the concept, many were lost when the final product was revealed. This is sadly a growing problem with K-pop as more releases follow, Espa's Girls and Itzy's Checkmate are the first to come to mind. The concept is not going to sell itself. You need to take measures to make sure you're conveying it properly through the visuals that come along with it. For I've at the very least, this is a sign of improvement from their team. As time goes on, I hope they will continue to grow and improve on the creative direction for the group moving forward. I may have not felt completely satisfied but I was impressed. Congrats to I've on their comeback. After like by I've themes, 1990s Kodak film. Zenex, early 1990s. Marilyn Monroe gentlemen's prefer blondes. Contempo eclectic 1980s, mid 90s. Super graphic ultra modern late 60s, late 70s. High fashion. Retro futurism. Who the fuck is this? You're a snake. Funny morons. From Cape. That's it, okay? That's all I gotta say.